Hello, Mr. Bloxham here from Bay House School, just going to feather the Bakewell tart we've just made. I made some pink here rather than red. I've got some nice red stuff, but I don't know where it is, so I've got to pick. Only one teaspoon in, you hardly need any of this, right? That would be easily enough to do this cake. Uh, roll it down. Scissors. Most people, the mistake they make when they make the ice is they make it too runny. This one here is quite thick. You see, it's reasonably thick. If it's too runny, it will just go off the cake. So we put this on. This is going on the white, this is on this one here. And I'm going to spread it with either the big spoon or the little spoon. Uh, you can't have it too thick, otherwise it breaks the cake. If it's too runny, it won't be nice and white and it will just be having to see through the whole pastry. So my, my guy next door should be all served up by now, he hasn't told me. Maybe if you want to, especially Paige, you can see, the thing is, where well, I haven't been in there not because I'm not really going to help him. We can see if he's turned up. So well, who's doing catering next year? Put your hand up. Just Paige in this class. You can come and have a look, right? Because uh, the others, it won't really be any benefit for you. But this will be some benefit for you. So if you want, that'd be good, Paige, if you can. So in here, then we um, we go all the way across without stopping. Don't need to stop. And then you need the cocktail stick ready straight away. And I've only used about a third of that bag, or maybe half the bag. Then we go through one way, three ways, one, two, three, four times actually. Then I spin it round, four times the other way. Try and do it in the middle. Then you'll see the feathering. Um, if you get time, if you do it in under ten minutes, you'll have time to do this. And then we've got a feathered um, Bakewell tart here. Anyway, that's it on feathering for today. Um, thank you from um, Mr. Bloxham at Bay House School. Nice